bottom line is this, both Iran and Hezbollah are very rational actors. Too many people make the mistake of thinking that they're irrational crazies. They are not. They are very rational, but they don't use the same calculus that you and I do as Americans or as Westerners. It's no less rational. It's no less legitimate a calculus, but they come to a different solution to the calculation than you or I might, which helps explain in part why we are risk averse and they are not. Um, at the end of the day, we assessed, however, that if there were to be retaliation beyond Israel, uh, uh, missiles targeting Israel, that that would have been targeting our interests in the region. Uh, U.S. government issued warnings uh, to uh, uh, Americans in Iraq and in Lebanon in the days leading up to what was thought was going to be the strike that didn't happen, um, uh, warning them. In general, and this is consistent across the declassified intelligence over years and years that I collected for the book, the assessment was and appears to continue to be that Hezbollah will not use its assets here, and it has assets here, and has done pre-operational surveillance, not to do things right then and there, but to have off-the-shelf planning should it ever want to do something, would only do something here in this country if it felt that we, the United States, were directly involved in doing things that would undermine its existence or the existence of its patron in Iran. My concern is that at least some within Hezbollah, I believe, are, are at that point. They believe that we, the United States, are the reason that the UN tribunal indicted their terrorist leader. They believe that we are behind all of this in Syria. Uh, and that, that poses some interesting questions, when, especially when compounded with the bizarre but very, very real plot of Arbabsiar, the uh, Iranian-American used car salesman in Texas who was tasked by his cousin, who turned out to be a Quds Force general, with blowing up the Saudi ambassador to Washington at a very posh and popular Washington, D.C. restaurant known to be frequented by U.S. senators on a daily basis. That incident changed the U.S. intelligence community's calculus of under what circumstances Iran, either on its own or perhaps through proxies, might try and do something pretty spectacular in this country.